So, welcome back uh, as you go through this <coughs> some discussion on unbounded operators and same group theory, uh, you realize that many topics uh, have not been covered. So, it is not, not at all possible because the subject is so vast. So, before uh, stating abstract Cauchy problem, uh, let me just make one remark because this I uh, <coughs> said in the beginning. Okay. So, this multi parameter because this is not very uh, difficult parameter multi parameter semi group. And similarly, multi-parameter groups. Okay, so this. Uh, so now, this T is in R n plus. Uh, R n plus. Okay. So this T is T one, T two, T n, and each T i is non-negative. Okay. The so same definition. So now multi parameter semi group T T. So, same definition same condition. Okay. So, again this is in uh, family in these are bounded linear operators defined on a Banach space. Now, it is an R n plus. Okay. So, that is the only difference. So, this since is <coughs> uh, closed under addition. So, we can just take T of T 1 plus T 2. So, now these are n tuples okay. uh, T 1 plus T 2. This is fine. Okay, because this is additive, R n plus is additive and same with identity and plus continuity, okay, same definition. Okay, just <coughs> so, now we can define one parameter sub semi groups. Okay, just uh, pay attention to the notation. So, now I am defining only for T non negative, okay, it is not an n tuple, just a non negative real number. So, T k T is so given a multi parameter semi group, I can define this T e k. So, E 1, E 2, E n are standard basis. Okay. So, you can verify if T is a multi parameter semi group, then each T k T is a one parameter semi group. So, we get <coughs> for 1 less than k less than Okay, so, we get uh, <coughs> n 1 parameter semi groups and corresponding to each k. So, we have generators a 1, a 2, a k. Okay. So, it is uh, like going from one variable calculus to multivariable calculus. So, this will be uh, for a, if we take for example, the translation semi groups, then we get all the partial derivatives. Okay. So, conversely, so that is why you will not uh, see much discussion on this multi uh, parameter semi groups. So, conversely, suppose T 1 R, 
course, you can just verify that and that is going to be the definition also T of T is T 1 uh, T 1 T n T n. So, order is immaterial ok. So, they all commute. So, a multi parameter semi group can be written as product of one parameter semi groups and conversely same thing conversely suppose T 1 T 2 T n are one parameter semi groups. Okay. And now you define a multi parameter semi group T T for T in R n plus by uh, T of T same thing. Okay, you may assume that they are committed. Commuting, mutually commuting, so that the order uh, does not matter. In the first case, we can prove that, but in the second case, you just assume that. And this is a multi-parameter. So, you also get uh, this second order derivatives A i A j A k. Okay. So, these are similar to second order derivatives the generators similar to second order derivatives. So, now you can even define uh, the weak derivatives and other things by taking uh, translation semi groups. Okay. So, that is in fact we get also A j just these are unbounded operators you can just check that okay. check this carefully. Okay. So, equality of mixed second derivatives okay, that is similar to that. Okay, but there are some other important things uh, we have not done in semi group uh, theory like uh, Trotter, Cato formula and other things. They are important, okay. but uh, you can read those are interested they can read. Okay. So, with that uh, little regression now we go to this uh, abstract Cauchy problem. in a Banach space. Okay. So, first let me consider this first order equation. So, d u by d t equal to a u Okay, so, this is for t positive and some u 0 in x. So, this is in x, x is a Banach space. So, this is our abstract Cauchy problem. Okay. So, let me just <coughs> uh, give the definition. a function u from. So, you can also consider in the whole of r. So, if uh, 2 x is called 
a strict solution called a strict solution strict or strong solution if e u is continuously differentiable uh, differentiable okay and u t belongs to d a for t greater than 0 equal to okay, u 0 <coughs> okay, that for forces x to be in uh, okay, let me just put t greater than 0 and uh, a c p is satisfied. Okay, that means, this when I take the derivative that is equal to a u. So, let me uh, come to this initial condition little later. Okay, there is another <coughs> notion of uh, solution to a c p and this is called mild solution. So, let me just say that briefly. So, again one more definition. a continuous now we are not assuming differentiability so u 0 u infinity 2 x is called so this is like a weak solution is called a mild solution mild solution uh, of a c p of course, okay, that abstract Cauchy problem. If, so now the condition is not point wise, but uh, kind of average if u this t u s d s. So, this because of continuity assumption this integral exists and is a vector in x and we want this to be in the domain of a for all t greater than or equal to 0 now. Okay. So, because at 0 it is just the 0 vector and the d a is a subspace and okay, so this u of T is equal to a of zero t u s d s and plus that condition initial condition x so for all t so this is obtained by integrating uh, the equation in a c p. Okay. So, this is called mild so in fact it is very important in many applications especially in control theory. Okay. So, just uh, uh, so here is a proposition for this mild solution. So, let us uh, we are not going to discuss in detail. So, just uh, say that. So, suppose A generates a semi group, A generates a semi group uh, T T uh, and X belongs to X. Okay, so, you define u of t 
of course, it depends on x. So, just let me put that way. Uh, this is T of T x. Okay. So, then uh, u is a mild solution. of A C P. Further, mild solution is unique, mild solution is unique. Okay. So, at least we <coughs> get that uniqueness. Okay. So, proof it is already property of the semi group. So, just uh, let me uh, so proof only uniqueness is to be proved. So, we already know that. So, T going to when T T is a semi group is continuous, is continuous, and we also seen that. Uh, that is how we proved that A is densely defined uh, closer operator. So, this integral 0 to T T s x d s is in T a. Okay. You put together these conditions. So, that prove that uh, u is a mild solution. So, you only uniqueness need to be proved. Okay, that's, uh, okay. So, by linearity we may take x equal to 0, just you subtract otherwise by linearity may take uh, x equal to 0 and then we show that any mild solution is 0. Okay. Uh, <coughs> so, and let u uh, be a mild solution. Mild solution. Okay. So, take T positive. Okay, and consider uh, this okay. d by d s of t of t minus s uh, integral 0 to s. So, let me use some other variable here. So, u j d j. Okay, so, this is 0 less than s less than equal to t. Okay. So, <coughs> this one you just uh, do this u of s minus t of t minus s and u is a mild solution. So, d by d s of this integral uh, 0 to j, you just see that it is a, uh, a 0 to s uh, u j d j and this is same as u s. Okay, some work. Okay. So, here we are resuming x equal to 0 and you get that 0. So, this implies this let me write that 0 to t u j uh, d j is 0 for all t bigger than equal to 0, but again you use the equation. So, that implies so, u of t because u is a mild solution. Okay. So, this 0 to t u j 
B is A and that is here. Okay, so, that proves the uniqueness of mild solution. Uh, so, we are not going. So, if A generates a semi group, then we know how to construct the mild solution, uh, but the converse, converse is we are not going to study here, but converse we are going to study for the strict solution. Okay. So, now we is uh, confined to uh, oh, already time. Strict solutions. I am just going to state a theorem strict solution. Okay. So, let again we will start that T T be a semi group semi group. Uh, with generator A. So, we have already seen that. So, if x belongs to D A, then the mapping T going to T T x is differentiable uh, and this is important. So, d by d t of t t x is a t t x of course, that is also equal to t t x. Okay. So, we already see that. So, even for the strict solution uh, so, this implies that for x in d a, if we put u again at t x as t t x is a strict solution. Uh, of A C P. Okay. So, the only thing is we have to take the initial data in domain of A, but not a, an arbitrary vector in X. Okay. So, that is the so converse is also true. Okay. So, there are some technical things here converse is also true. What does that mean? So, if A C P uh, has a strict solution for each x in D A, then uh, A generates a semi group. Okay. So, this I will state as a theorem without further discussion. So, let me just uh, state that. Okay. Okay. So, one more condition. So, just uh, I will state E stroke U. So, this is existence and uniqueness. So, I am going to state some conditions and the theorem says they are equivalent. So, what is this existence and uniqueness condition? Okay, so, for every this is what I was just telling that every x in d a there exists a strict solution uh, u for this u it depends on x. Uh, of A C P and is unique.
Okay. So, under this condition we want to prove that A actually generates a semi group. Okay. So, <coughs> so, let me just state as a theorem. the following statements are equivalent. Are equivalent. Okay, so, there are four conditions. So, let me just write that A, A generates a semi group. So, again recall that semi group for us means strongly continuous semi groups. So, this we saw as soon as A generates a semi group we get uh, existence and uniqueness for uh, <coughs> this uh, ACP. Okay, and that is the next condition. So, A satisfies uh, existence and uniqueness that condition and rho A is non empty. Of course, when A generates a semi group, we know that the resolvent set is quite large, okay, but while proving the converse you need that assumption. So, this existence and uniqueness plus this condition and the third condition. So, they are simpler you see we do not need the full force of this for example, this uh, resolvent set. So, A satisfies Uh, e u again existence and uniqueness and there exists a sequence and there exists a sequence of real numbers lambda n increasing to infinity such that lambda n i minus a so, this domain of definition is d a. So, it, it is just restating the this image lambda n i minus a with the whole space x for all n. Okay. And the third last one let me just state that a satisfies e u. Uh, and uh, okay, d a is dense d a is dense and for each sequence and for each sequence x n in d a x n converges to 0, we have u. So, that solution u t x n converges to 0 uniformly on compact sets, compact intervals. So So, on each compact interval, okay, so this convergence should be uniform as n tends to infinity. Okay. And condition D, okay, 
के सामने कंडीशन डी इज रेफर टू एस वेल पोर्नेस ओके सो फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग यू आर hearing that we are interested only in well posed problems so that is existence uniqueness and continuity with respect to the data so here the data is uh, the essential condition so when that initial condition tends to zero we want the uh, <coughs> solution also tend to zero but with some uniformity Uh, condition okay so compared to condition b condition c and condition d are somewhat simpler okay so in applications we want uh, easily verifiable conditions okay that's uh, important okay so i wanted to state a similar theorem for second order equations but running out of time so maybe i'll do it uh, some other time i'll because that to require for the wave equation so maybe before uh, discussion uh, wave equation i'll just uh, say something about second order equations and then continue with wave equation okay so so that uh, with that we come to and end of this brief discussion on unbounded operators and semi group theory and little bit of abstract cauchy problem so from uh, next time onwards we will take up uh, our equations of interest namely heat equation wave equation and schrodinger equation thank you